sitting by my knapsack for? You want to go in the woods? All right, let's go. Guys, what a wicked beautiful day here in Labrador. Uh, it's been really cold the last four or five days, in the minus 40s and 50s even, with the wind. And today, it's supposed to go up to about minus 18 degrees Celsius or whatever, and there's no wind. So I said, We got to go, and Willow was more than happy to come along. So today, I'm going to cut. Uh, for the cabin, I like to have some of these dry juniper, or really it's tamarack or larch trees, but it's always nice to have a few of those cut for uh, when you get into your cabin first and you want things to warm up quickly because that burns really, really hot. And the other reason I wanted to come down is because I got... I don't have my big sled with me today, or a big load of wood, but I uh, hooked up, made up a little system here, I have this small sled towing behind my this sled because uh, I want to be able to, if I go on a big trip somewhere, I can carry all my hot tent stuff just in that sled alone or anything else I want to put in there, ice fishing gear or whatever. And I can have that one there in for wood or all the rest of my gear I'm going to take on any trip I go on. So I want to give it a little test. I just put a gate, I just put a little gate hinge on there. Uh, some little metal bracket on the inside. So I'm gonna put a bit of wood in there. I figure if I fill that one up full of wood and uh, get it back to the cabin, which is five or six kilometers away. And believe you me, the lake is rough today. So if we can pass that test, she'll probably be good to go. Anyway, it's enough talking. It's time to uh, enjoy the sunshine and start cutting some wood. Before it gets too carried away now with loading the sleds, I'm going to uh, make a little turn around a path in there, you know? Even an hour or so with that uh, temperatures like today, you now that path will harden up so I won't get stuck, hopefully.
What you got there? What is that? Well, we got the, uh, not a monster load of wood by any stretch, but not bringing back to the camp for a few fire starts. I didn't put a whole lot in there, perhaps 15 or 20 logs. Enough to uh, give it a good test on the way back. Anyways, enough of that now. I think it's time for a lunch, 100%. I also picked up some uh, gelled fire starter and uh, I'm gonna give that a try today. I've never tried it. It's uh, made by a company called Woods. So let's give it a whirl, see how it works out. Flex on that old man's beard again now. Just the Growth, I'm liking it grows on the trees here. Looks good, as long as it's dry. The best thing to do with that uh, old man's beard is to uh, take some really fine sticks like this now and kind of mix it right in the middle. And that way, when it catches on, it should ignite the little twigs there, and then you're on your way. But today, we're going to try this gel stuff. I'm gonna mix that right in amongst the uh, the uh, old man's beard, you know. All right, let's give her a whirl. I have no idea how much it is to put on there. Try that much, I guess. Got a fire steel here. Just let's go sparks. See if it's good enough to catch a spark. This boy. Might be hard to see on the camera where it actually started. Wow. Cut pretty good. I got real bacon today. I was really amused at uh, the comments I got from uh, cooking up turkey bacon. Some of you guys thought that was pretty, pretty hilarious, and uh, actually I thought it was funny too. Uh, the way you guys were teasing me about it, so I figured I'd go right back to the 100% Canadian bacon just to make you guys happy. So what a bacon is. Uh, Brian up. Got ourselves a real special treat here today. It's called moose ringalls. So I kind of pre-made some of this before I came here today. And here I got some flour and some baking powder. Here's where the goods are. You got some moose here, some onions, and some salt pork. So I'll mix all that together now. And we'll splash in enough water now just to make it uh, kind of sticky, you know. Don't go too crazy with the water there now. We'll just a little bit at a time.
starting to smell pretty good there now in the willow. Don't be lying now. Mm mm mm, boys, it turned out pretty good. They fell apart a little bit, but not bad. And they smell wonderful, and I can't wait to eat it. Bacon back in there to warm up a little bit. Guys, that's the last of it. It was absolutely amazing, of course. So we're going to finish off our coffee now and uh, head back across the lake. See how that sled makes out. Hopefully it gets there. Stop for a quick break on the way back across the lake. It's extremely rough. It reminds me of a lemon meringue pie, actually. Only as hard as a rock here. Sleds are making it okay. This one's surviving it so far. Hitch looks fine to me. I think we're good to go on that. Just another two or three kilometers now. We're back to the cabin anyway. The other side of this lake here. Whoo! No wind! What a gift. Well, we certainly made it back okay. That was one bumpy ride, I tell you. Took us about 20 minutes just to get across the lake. And the uh, hinge. Never moved a bit, boys, all sturdy, nice and strong. So I think that's gonna certainly be good enough for uh, carrying around with ice fishing gear or that uh, hot tent I got. So I guess we'll throw it up on the bank now. Well, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, it was a wonderful day again, of course. We cut our wood, we had a wonderful lunch. And uh, I must say that the old sled worked out pretty good there, so. Something left for us to do now only throw this wood aside and uh, saw it up a little later on. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one for sure. Take care, everybody.